So hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export an image uh, using Google Earth Engine. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to create a polygon that then we can apply it as a way to clip those Landsat 8 and Landsat 5 images. Um, and we're going to export them as a GeoTIFF. And, um, and we're just going to use this function from Google Earth Engine, which is export.image to drive function. So let's get started um, by going to Google Earth Engine. We can go to datasets. Let's just work with Landsat 8. So again, I'm going to Landsat Collections, Landsat 8, and then in Landsat 8, I'm going to select Tier 1, Surface Reflectance. I'm going to go to the code down here, open the code, and this will take me to this a page. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. Yeah, let's work in North Carolina today. And um, and since we're gonna generate two images that shows us um, how things have changed in the region, let's let's go ahead and look into this area, um, which I know has changed a lot. Let me zoom around this area. So it's okay. So we're gonna work around that area. So let me go to the inspector and let me click here and select the area sorry the the point where I clicked and the zoom level so when I change the map center I'm just gonna go put it here and then I'm just gonna click 10 and um, I mean at 10 and uh, let me run this okay so this is what I'm running right now is just a basic um, code that that I was I took from Google Earth engine and I just changed the map center as we have done before um, and we have a Landsat here, good. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just create a polygon, which I can do it by going here. Okay, and the, and the reason why I'm gonna do this is because I'm gonna use this as kind of my frame of the area that I'm gonna be interested in. And, um, and when you do that, that polygon, you just click and drag and, and leave your click and it will create a, a square, sorry, a rectangle. And that rectangle is going to be called geometry. Okay, we can use that. We're going to use it later. We we could actually use it as a as a clip, like we have done before. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and do that. So okay, we have the data set here, and um, I have to reduce that uh, collection to um, to one image. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. I'm going to create a new variable called landsat eight. And um, I'm gonna make it from data set dot median, which is what is happening here, really. I'm just going to eliminate that line and put it here. So now I'll just go ahead and put it here. So I remember that that's what is going to um, appear later. But let me go ahead and also put here a clip. Clip. And I'm just gonna put the geometry geometry the geometry and um, let's run it and it should just appear the Landsat in this area unless I put some error which is what it seems like um, data set dot median dot clip um, between the clip geometry and ah, this is a problem I left this part here should eliminate that okay, let's run it again it should work yes it's there so if I turn off the geometry which I can turn it off here um, now we only have information here all right so this is for 2016 uh, right which was the time we, we selected let's go ahead and, and get something more recent I'm just gonna go get something from 2019 all the way to where we are so that way I can remember when I created this video so let's put 03 it's gonna put 15 um, okay that's not today's day but I just decided to put that um, and um, okay I'm just gonna go ahead and run it to see if I, I get some data yes I did okay so this is for looking at a Landsat image okay so I said that what we're going to do, it's actually export that Landsat. 
But I also want to export not only a Landsat 8, I also want to export a Landsat 5 because I want to look at how things have changed. So before I do the exporting, um, let's go and get some Landsat 5 data sets. So let's go back to our to the data sets of Google Earth Engine. Let's go to Landsat. And let's go to Landsat 5. And again, we, we should get the tier one. And if I go here, I'm gonna copy paste the this part of the code, which starts with the with the function for masking the clouds of a Landsat 5. I'm gonna take it all the way to um, its this parameters because it's a bit different. Okay, so I'm just gonna go from part cloud mask to the oh, sorry, I should grab all the way to here. Let's grab it all and then I'll delete some later um okay let's go here and i'm going to do the following before i copy paste i'm just going to go ahead and put this as the bisparam l8 which would be for landsat 8 and i'm going to put it here l8 it's just so i don't conf get confused later on and then i'm going to call this layer uh, 2019 because it's from the year 2019 or 2020. I mean, it's the medium of the information. Um, okay, and let me now, I'm gonna paste the information that I had from from Landsat 5, okay, which is all this. In fact, I could, you can see this, I haven't shown you this before, but I'm just gonna close this thing so I don't have that much information out there. And this is gonna be the bisparam of Landsat 5, which you can see is a little bit different. It's B3, B2, B1. The reason why is um, is because the the meaning of the bands changed a bit uh, uh, during Landsat 8 that they added that um, that blue additional blue. Um, okay, so let's see. So I need to add that Landsat 5. So I'm gonna put it here. It's gonna be Landsat 5. It's gonna be. I'm doing a little things a little bit out of order here but it's that I, I kind of know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna create a, at the end of the day, I want a Landsat 5, let's say from 30 years ago. Let me just um, put 1989, it will be the name of it. And it's uh, it's gonna be using the Landsat 5 BIS parameters and it's gonna be using Landsat 5. Well, I have to generate that Landsat 5. Um, let me eliminate this, it's not needed anymore. This is not needed. Okay, but I have this, which is right now the data set that is collecting from Landsat 5, but let me change the dates for, what did I say, 1989. So let's grab some image from 1988 all the way to 1990. Um, and we're gonna get the medium of that. So I'm gonna call bar Landsat 5, and it's gonna equal the data set dot median and I'm gonna go ahead and clip it to the same geometry. Geometry, seems like I don't know how to spell. Okay, so um, let's see. Seems like everything's looking good. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run that. Let's see if it works. Okay, doesn't seem like it has an error. Now let's see if it uploads that information. It's interesting, usually Landsat 5 data at Google takes a little bit longer to upload compared to Landsat 8. I guess, I don't know what's the reason. I can start guessing, but. Okay, so this might be a little bit slow because of my internet running a, a slow right now. Um, so I might not, it might not be worth it for me to show you the differences, but, but okay, but here we have the image from 1989, and if I unclick it, you can see the differences. I hope so that in the video you can see it, but it's kind of kind of obvious. Look at this; these are all urbanizations, and you can see it even in the map. Um, and then you will see that when I cover it with the 1989 image, you can see that it was uh, forested. So you can actually see the 
the transitions from agriculture or forests to suburban area. And this is in, in North Carolina um, as the suburb had, have been expanding through time. So I said that we're going to export those images, um, both the 1989 image as well as the 2019 image. And we're gonna do that using this uh, function from Google Earth Engine, which is called the export dot image to drive, which meaning that it will send it to Google Drive. Okay, and then we open, and we also put, um, we open with the parentheses and we open with the curly brackets. And then we start giving it some parameters, okay? And which is gonna be the first one is gonna be the image that we're going to export. And we're just gonna, we have to repeat it, okay? So I'm gonna give the image Landsat 8, right? This is our, one of our image that we want to export. We wanna give it a description. And the description is a name that you're going to give it. I'm just going to give it the name a uh, year, just uh, uppercase Y, uh, 2019. And uh, sorry, I should put a comma. And then I should put the scale. And um, we're just going to leave it at the 30 meter pixel size. And I'm gonna put the region, which in, we actually don't need to put the region because we already have done the clip, but I'm just gonna show you that if you had not done the original clip that I just did by uh, clipping with the region, you can also export only a certain area by giving it a, a region and giving it the name of that region, which in our case is called geometry. Um, this is important because, I mean, Google's not going to allow you to just to export a huge image. It, it has some limits. I don't remember the limits right now, but understand it's not going to be a very big thing. I just copy pasted right now um, because I'm going to do the same thing for the Landsat 5. Right? That's the name I gave it. I'm going to call it year 1989 and the same scale and the same region. So. Um, actually, let me save this as a copy. Save as, yes, let's call it a triangle area, Landsat. Okay, and um, let's run it. Uh oh, I wrote something incorrect. Eh, yes, I wrote export, not export. So it's export. Okay, now we click run. And when you do export functions, then you will see that the text was uh, orange. And when you click task, you should see that you have what well, you have. Uh, requested right which is the year 2019 and year 1989 and now we're gonna click here run and it's going to be sent to drive that's what I'm gonna do and um, I'm just gonna click run there's ways to automate this and also and I will show that in another video but for the moment we just do this click run and um, and save and this will take a, a little while so after a few minutes, then you should get a check mark. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, and that means that you have the exported image. And to get that, um, what we need to do is look for Google Drive. So let me open Google Drive. Google, and let me go to my Google Drive. And, um, and you usually get it in your uh, Initial page again. You could you could also change those things, but um, let me go ahead and download them. Let me download this one. Let me download this other one. And usually you will not be able to open it in your computer, so you might get an error like this. But that's because there are geotiffs. So 
Um, let me go ahead and open QGIS and then I'll show you how you can see them. So here I have QGIS and um, I have already opened OpenStreetMap tile layer and let me open the downloads and um, I have here the both image that I exported in QGIS. I'm doing a drag and drop and here do you see them and um, wow and you can see the change very dramatic change. Um, the colors have changed but that's because we have changed the the um, which are the images that are being used um, for displaying and also the min and the maximum so you would have to change them the bands so let's go ahead and make it a little more similar this will take a little longer if I want to make it completely similar but just to so you can see um, how, how I'm changing the band combinations let's see this should have been a five this should be four and this sorry this should be four this should be three and this one should be two let's click OK yeah so now see the, the forest looks green let's see how it looks yeah so there you go and you can see that there's a change from again from forest to to urban and uh, we can zoom a little bit more here you can see that those changes so I hope you were able to understand how to do an export of Landsat uh, from different years.